Hi, superstars. Happy Friday. I am so proud of you for finishing another week. You guys did so awesome for our whole remote learning, but also this week you stuck with it. And guess what? This was our last week of new material. So now you just get to do fun things. This weekend on Sunday, I will be sending you a work plan, but it won't have any work. It'll just have fun things for you to do. So that's pretty awesome. Um, next week is our remote review conversations. So I look forward to talking to all of you then. And then during that three day week, we will have a class like our class party. All right. Today, I thought since we don't have a meeting, I would do some critter talk in quotes for you today. For my critter talk, I chose the grizzly bear. Let me pull up my information on the grizzly bear. Um, grizzly bears are mammals. They are omnivores. They are five to eight feet and weigh 800 pounds. So they're approximately, like if they're standing on all fours, they'll come up to like the waist or high torso of a six foot tall man. Here's some more information. The grizzly bear is a North American species of the brown bear. Grizzlies are typically brown, although their although fur can have tips of white or be, or a little bit of a grizzled color, which is where they get their name. Grizzly bears are protected by a law in the United States. That means that they can't be hunted but not in Alaska. Let's see, what do they eat? Um, during fishing seasons, the bears eat fish, car craving fats that will sustain them for the long winter ahead. Brown bears, during the winter, these bears dig dens for hibernation. During the winter, females give birth most of the time to twins, which is very interesting. Let's see, grizzly bears are powerful on top of the food chain, but their diet consists mostly of nuts, berries, fruit, leaves, and roots, although they can eat other animals if needed. Despite how big they are, grizzly bears can also run really, really fast. The fastest they've been clocked is 30 miles an hour. That's faster than your mom can drive through a school zone. All right, that is some pretty cool information about grizzly bears. Now for my quote. Here's my quote. Do something uncomfortable today. By stepping out of your box, you don't have to settle for what you are. You get to create who you want to become. So I really liked this quote because I thought that it was pretty applicable to going to middle school next year. When we're in one place for a long time, we kind of become really set in who we are or who we think people expect us to be. But going to middle school, you have the chance to create a whole new you. You can be so perfectly you from the first day that then the second day people are just going to go, oh yeah, that's how they are. So I thought that quote was pretty helpful. I hope you guys have an awesome Friday and make use of no class meeting to go play outside or hang out with your family some. I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.